So we're back at the Potter Tour. We've come for the dark arts. Uh, we was planning to come for Hogwarts in the snow, but all gone, all sold out. But we come for the dark arts. We're gonna have a good walk around, see some more, uh, see some more bits, and hopefully bump into a few Death Eaters. Ready to go, mate? Oh yeah. Let's jump into it. No, oh, sir. Little tight fell to sleep just as we were flying over Bristol. Professor Dumbledore, sir. Professor McGonagall. I've watched them all day. They're the worst sort of muggles imaginable. Stay in formation, everyone. Don't break ranks if one of us is killed. So we just come into the Great Hall and it is filled with pumpkins, but like usual, we've entered last so we can try and take our time coming through, but three minutes and they're already trying to kick us out. So I'm going to show you the hall quick and then we'll have a chat once we get through to the next one. Let the feast begin. Again, we've just come out the uh, the Great Hall. It looked amazing with the pumpkins. You like that, mate, with the pumpkins and that in there? Very nice. It did look amazing. But once again, we rushed through last day. We told we can come back, but the, the, the problem we have, because because we've got the chair and we're trying to take our time, so we're not being... Um... Okay, mate, thank you. So we're not being being rushed through. We're, uh, you know, we have been told we can come back in, but you're still gonna have a full group again, so you, you don't really get much time at all. So it's the only bit, once again, that lets me down from there. So we'll see, we'll see. We might jump back in and try and get a couple of shots we wanted to get, but we'll see how it goes. Well, take a good look, lads. This night might well be the last you spend in this council. Harry! Hatred! Silence! Please, not panic! You were seen by no less than seven muggles. Do you have any idea how serious this is? So if you've seen last week's vlog, you'll see that we've got the floating candles.
So, considering it is a weekday, we had the three o'clock slot, it's actually really busy. Not weekend or school, uh, school holidays busy, but it's still really busy. And uh, yeah, didn't expect that to be honest. But it's still fun, we're still getting around. Don't know the ins and outs here of what we're gonna find. Now, from what I've seen, as I said, some Death Eaters might be wandering. Shush! Death Eaters might be wandering around and we might see them. So let's keep going. I do love this mountain. I still love this mountain. It's one of the best bits here just for its colours. What you can see. Myrtle. Hi. Hello, Harry. Ah, uh, long time. No, see? This is the point. We've not even got to the past the cauldron yet. And look, another wave of people. No chance. Leaky cauldron. That's in London. All right, let's keep walking around. take our time today there's lots of people here so if we want to come back to something we will we're in no rush so at the moment it's like eight deep to get to the uh, dormitory so we're just going to walk around and see how we get on busy today isn't it mate? It's real. Well I've already been walked into twice trying to film <laughs> but what we decide we're just going to take our time obviously we was lucky enough to come last month so everyone that wants a picture in the mirror and a picture in front of stuff we're obviously letting them have, have their time as we've been lucky enough to come again. So not actually sure how much we're going to get in this but we're just going to keep going around enjoy ourselves take our time it's no rush. So we're about to go into Dumbledore's office and uh, as we all know Style. I do like Dumbledore's office. We've just let it clear out a little bit, so there's a bit more room in here to move. Just on the detail. Up here we've got the Sword of Gryffindor. And I won't lie, on the way here, that portrait to the right was me. I was knackered. Okay. Harry, the cup is important. Cedric, we have to get back to the cup. Now! Oh, by the way, Harry, whilst you're here, it would be best if you didn't uh, wander. And he's just said how, how distinctive and how good Alan Rickman's voice is for the films. Obviously an actor that's passed and sadly missed. But yeah, his voice is great. I love him in the film. I think he's uh, such a great character. Right, round to Hagrid's. Welcome to Dark Arts. During the filming of Harry Potter and the Death Eaters, featured from the Goblet of Fire through to the Deathly Hallows Part 2, the look and feel of the Death Eaters was adapted throughout the Harry Potter film series. However, one element that didn't change was their menacing presence. Please make way for the Death Eaters. Order of the Phoenix. 
brought to life the physicality of these striking characters by creating the art known as wand combat. Uh, what, is, what is amazing, how oblivious people are to, uh, to us being here with Dan in, in his chair. You, you thought you'd just pulled, didn't you, mate? I she almost I pulled. I thought she was going to sit on my lap. She almost sat on his lap, not looking where she was going. Backing in. <laughs> I was going. I was going to give you a twenty, mate, and see if you could tip her. <laughs> also, I'm watching that video over there, they're saying it takes ten to twelve weeks to train the animals for the films. I'm wondering if I could send them half up. <laughs> no chance. We'll see. And I Moody's Pro Glass. So you can see the white of their eyes. You know they're right behind you. Alright, so we're just going to run a bit more. Got the entrance to the chamber. I've just noticed that Tom Riddle's grave's gone. And the Death Eaters are around here on display. So keep making our way around as you can see. Very busy. So we're just taking our time. I do love the borough. That's where the Death Eaters were. <laughs> but like magic, they've disappeared. Annoying. It's still one of the one of the great scenes of the tour with Nagini at the table. Oh look Dan, there you go, look. Look, Lucius has got his cane there. There you go. Servant, I was beginning to worry you had lost your way. Come, we've saved you a seat. Wormtail! Have I not spoken to you about keeping our guest quiet? Yes, my lord. So just to explain that, Dan's thinking about getting a wand, but he's looking at Lucius's <laughs> cane. So we've just seen it there by the table, and we're uh, having a look for it, because I'm very interested in getting Hagrid's umbrella wand. I think that's the only one I'm going to purchase other. Can we ask the people to say in the comments, I think the clubhouse needs a Nimbus 2000 on the wall. Oh, there's no room for a broom on the wall. <laughs> Pull up with Lego. I feel an extension coming on. Oh, but we've just found Tom Ridder's grave and seen where they moved it to. So they've moved Tom's grave to up there, next to the tapestry. But this is another amazing part of the tour. Just the colours in this area alone are amazing for the ministry and Dolores' office over there too. These colours are amazing. Once again, like Dan, Dan's just said, I wonder if anyone wants to throw anything at the telly when Dolores comes on. But I think that just shows how how good she was as the character. What what does me? I'm not even going to attempt to do it. But it's a little chuckle, a little <laughs> or whatever it is she does. Ah, oh, you just want to troll her, don't you? But it just shows how good she was. Every time. I may have just... <laughs> scared me. <laughs> I may have just got a picture with a Death Eater. He also, he also may have nearly just poked me in the eye <laughs> with his wand. <laughs> Close. But the Death Eaters are on their way round. Let's see if we can catch a bit of the stage show. Everyone's taking pictures now, but we're going to move on onto the Forbidden Forest.
Hello there, friends. See you've met our young Mr. Potter. All right there, Harry. Harry Potter, you must leave. You are known to many creatures here. The forest is not safe at this time. I didn't know better, Draco. I'd say you were scared. Scared, Potter. where people uh, don't expect what they're going to see next. We've just come in through the Forbidden Forest and people have come around and seen Aragog around the corner. <laughs> uh, yeah, they wasn't expecting that. What have we got down here? What's she doing? Well, obviously that's was not okay. It's not wrong. <laughs> Dad jokes, baby. But Hagrid, there must be a mistake. This is platform nine and three quarters. There's no such thing, is there? Right, so can we work out everyone's trunks? GW, any guesses, anyone? CC? I'm going with George and Colin. And some more over here. HG? Hmm. Tough one, that one. <laughs> oh, FW? Fred? And in case you need a, a helpful hint with LL. Right then, first years, this may be. Come on now, first year, don't be shy. Come on now, hurry up. Ah! <laughs> so we're on the platform, nine and three quarters. We're now gonna head into the railway shop, which has certain bits that are not in the end. Sorry about that. <laughs> so we're gonna head into the railway shop now, see if there's any bits we wanna pick up. There is stuff on our hit list for today. You got a hit list, didn't you, mate? But I think it's gonna be more honey jokes at the end. Oh, there's a lot of chocolate. There's gonna be a lot, lot of sweets. Chocolate. Let's head into the railway shop. So we've just come in the railway shop and we've seen this bag. It's all for the dark arts. And it's all about going here. So you buy your patches and you can customize it however you like. Quite cool. I do feel there's going to be some more pin purchases today. It's kind of <laughs> it inevit in inevitable. Yeah, like Thanos says, it's inevitable. So we'll see. We picked up that one last time, and there's the gigantic Stein again. It is. It is really nice, but it's huge and it's expensive, but it's amazing. We found a new cup. It's huge again. Well, yeah, but the other one takes two tea bags to make a cup of tea. Oh, oh, you never open an umbrella inside. Good luck. This is actually quite a smart mug, but it is absolutely huge. And I think I'll go to the toilet twice before I finish it. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, on a, I'm on a cup ban. I've been told I'm not allowed to buy any more cups. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, this is. Oh, I'd love that for the kids. Look. Take me to Hogwarts. That's nice. 25 quid. 
all aboard the Hogwarts Express. Wow. London to Hogwarts. I like this one. It's nice. I have got my eye on a few bits. Specifically Christmas bits. But I think I'll wait until the big bit at the end. They've got a nice big Christmas section. So that's us done. We're at halfway point. We're just about to head into the Backlot Cafe. Um, it has been busy, I know I've said it. It's made filming a little bit difficult in some areas. But we're um let's get some we're gonna get some food now, get some dinner. We'll sit down and we'll talk then. Right, so we've just queued for probably about 25 minutes in the queue for the back lot. We've got our food, we're just going for a sit down. So I'll show you what we've got quickly and how much it cost, and I'll tell you about how we found the first half of the talk. Going for the classic dog, no onions, cheese and bacon, bought the drink, we got the same, and this come to 25 quid, top into 75p each. And no fountain, so I had to go bottle. Right, so we just finished the food. What do you think your food, mate? That was a good you, dog. You remember last time we came in, I said pot of chips rocked? I lied. Well, no, last time they did rock. They were, they were different chips today, but decent hot dog. Oh, best hot dog I've had. Harry, Harry Bay, you missing out. Harry, you would have loved that hot dog, mate. <laughs> better than cinema hot dog. Better. Much better. But what I did want to say is that we're now at the halfway point we come out but it took us three hours it took us just under three hours to get to the halfway point because of how busy it is how many people want pictures and if we wanted to see anything we had to wait so it is busy and we are now getting on with time i mean our slot was three o'clock so we sat down to have our food at about six just gone six so it's taken us quite a while to get round, and we still got to do night bus privet the bridge before we get inside to Diagon and everything else and including gift shop where we all like to end up the gift <laughs> shop so let's keep going welcome to the night bus emergency transport for the stranded witch or wizard my name is Stan Shunpike and I will be your conductor for this evening so what I am liking is this is the first time we've been at the tour when it has started to get dark outside and the lights have started to come on we've got purple lights here showing on the bus lights on privet Green light shine on the bridge. So I'm looking forward to seeing this all now light up. What are you doing down there? I fell over. What you fell over for? I didn't do it on purpose. Well, come on then. Let's not wait for the grass to grow. No, sir. Not one master That's us done with the first part of the tour, Backlot Cafe and the area outside. I'm not filmed too much because there's still a few people. Yeah, it has been a little bit hard filming today actually. We're now going to head in for the second part of the tour, special effects, Diagon, the castle, and obviously the shop. <laughs> Let's crack on. I feel like every time we come I've got to say hello for it to, uh, to Filda. One day she'll recover from that night out. They're all kids. Too much, too much Jaeger. <laughs> section of all the beasts and animals. Aragog, a basilisk, Buckbeak, and a dragon. It is amazing with detail. Warwick, how's it going? Now don't quote me on it, taking a guess. They have announced another possible Lego 20th anniversary set. I heard a strong rumour there could be a Gringotts 
set possible add-on for Diagon. Which is trouble for me because I'm not adding more Lego. <laughs> Need more shelves. The detail in Gringotts is uh, it's pretty spectacular. What exactly are these things? They're goblins, Harry. Clever as they come, goblins are not the most friendly of beasts. <coughs> Mr. Harry Potter wishes to make a withdrawal. Oh, take me back to escape the Gringotts. Not long. Not long. We'll be back. Right. See, it's little things like this at this game. It's showing you how they've made all the, the trinkets and pots in the bar, the, the cup, the moulds. This is in inside uh, Bellatrix's vault. We couldn't get to this barrier last time, there's too many people. It's meant to be in my vault of green cards. How did you get it? <laughs> it's good, isn't it? But now, we're in Diagon. Over here, they're just talking through the Death Eaters costume. <laughs> it takes for them to get dressed up. Well, there's your money, Harry. Gringotts, the Wizard Bank. Take no safer place, not one. Welcome, Harry, to Diagon Alley. We couldn't fit through a private doorway. We couldn't get it was through the a private doorway. Yeah. <laughs> Should have gone kids' potion. <laughs> Blimey, Harry, didn't you ever wonder where your mum and dad learned it all? Not more. You're a wizard, Harry. What school of witchcraft and wizardry? Go to the finest school of witchcraft and wizardry in the world. Right, so that's us done with the Dark Arts tour. What do you think, mate? Yeah, it's good. It's, it's, every time we come back here, there's something else that you missed the last time. Yeah, yeah. And I thought the, the Dark Arts spots were quite nice. Yeah. It's good. And they post the photos as well, which is pretty cool. The, the one battles with the kids were nice. But, um, yeah, it's, I still love coming here. As you've said, you seem to find something new every time we come. So, yeah. that's the tour done with. Now it's time for the expensive part. <laughs> Let's go. The one chooses the wizard, Mr. Potter. More more! I wish it was mystery managed. Hmm, right. I do want to get a Marauder's Map 
for the clubhouse and put it on the wall. Now these ones are 30 pounds, but I've seen one that's 50 pounds and is interactive on the tour website. So it shows footsteps moving around the map, which is pretty cool. But I don't want to spend 50 quid. <laughs> so I'm not going to get it, but it's a cool idea. So this is the one I was telling you about. This is the one for 50 quid. It comes with a wand, but you can see them walk around the map, which is, is amazing and good, but also crazy at the same time for 50 quid. I do wish they had Hagrid's here. I would get a Hagrid's. If it was here today, I'd get it. <laughs> Seeing as it's the dark arts, they've got a whole section for it now. Let's kind of have a look. We just found this Dementor statue, which is actually quite heavy. 35 quid. It's quite cool. Oh, right, so they've just announced that the shop's shutting in 15 minutes. So do you know what this makes? Makes this now, Dan? Supermarket sweet. When you hear the beep at the checkout. <laughs> Let's go. Are you ready to go shopping? Christmas section, which is what I wanted to see. <laughs> but as much as I like Potter and I love Christmas, if I wanted to get a house badge for each of us to stick on a tree, it's 18 pound to go. Crazy. Look at the robes. 12 pounds, 18, 16. Whew. So that's us done here at the tour today. We got rushed at the end. I don't know how people went in to do the tour after us and still managed to get around to the shop, but pretty much as soon as we was in the shop, we had five minutes and it was last bus 15 minutes, shop shuts 15 minutes. They didn't have half the stuff we wanted. They didn't have the butterbeer glass I was after. They didn't have a few of the spirit jerseys I was after. So I'm gonna have to go online and try and order those. But um, yeah, it's rushed at the end, which kind of spoiled it a little bit. But we've managed to pick up some bits. I have to show you the pins another time. Um, but still, still a fantastic day. I love coming out to the tour. It's always so much fun. But uh, that's enough from us. So I hope you've enjoyed today. Seen some bits. The dark arts were fantastic. It, it was good fun. And all the Death Eaters were real good sports um, that were spotted around the tour. So that's enough from us. If you like what we've seen, please remember to like and subscribe. We've got lots and lots and lots to come. Obviously a lot of Potter as well. So we'll see you in the next one.